Hey guys, welcome to King's Tech Review. My name is Daniel King, and tonight I have a projector for us to take a look at. Now, this is called the Cloco Wii Video Projector. Okay, so take a look at the box. All right, let me spin it around here so you guys could take a cool little look at everything outside of the box. All right, has some nice markings here. Now, this is an LED video projector, and you can use it in multiple instances. Okay, so let me open the box and let me show you guys what's inside. But first of all, I wanna encourage you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please, thank you very much for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Two thumbs up, and let us open this package, see what's inside of the box. So as we look here, oh, here we go. We have the manuals. So that's the first thing we get out. You can see the manuals here. So I'll put the manuals on the side here. All right, so it's telling you to read this first. All right, and let me pull this. It's so secure inside of this box. Oh, something jumped out. <laughs> it's not a creature, no. So here, here. So what we have here is a, it's one of the, the screws. I, I think, I'm thinking it's for the projector. So let us put this right on the side here with the manuals and let's see what else is inside of the box. What we have here is a lens cleaner and this is for cleaning in front of the lenses, okay? And a nice little cloth here to make sure the lens is nice and clean and there's no moisture or dirt on the lens. Okay, so let me quickly open this here. And as we can see inside of the box, let's open this box, it's the next box. We have first of all the remote. Okay, that goes with the unit, it controls the unit. You have all sorts of different features. You have the volume up, volume down, um, mute. You also have the um, repeat or probably uh, undo. Then you have okay, up and down, left and right. Okay, good. Power switch to turn everything, turn the unit on. No, this doesn't come with any battery, okay? So I, this is this is my batteries I placed inside of it. So you're gonna have to purchase some batteries, all right? So <laughs> that's cool. All right, let's see what else is inside of the box. Put this box on the side here. And what we have here, oh, we have the AC adapter that hooks to the unit, which is cool. We also have here the HDMI cord that also hooks to the back of the unit. And then we have a RCA to 30, to, to 3.5 millimeter jack, RCA 3.5 millimeter jack that hooks to the unit as well for surround system sounds. And um, yeah, that's if you have a sound system and you wanna hook it up, you gotta use this. Okay, cool, very cool, very cool. Okay, so let me put this here and let me reveal the unit for you so you guys can see the unit. It's, it's well packaged in this nice bubble, soft ear padded bag. I, I, I really do like it, Cloco Wee. I really like this package and really cool. Okay, let me remove this from here too as well. And now we can see the unit. I'm gonna put the manual on this side. Don't forget to read the manuals, guys. It's very important. I don't like to read manuals too, but it's very important that you read it and um, you refer to it when you have problems. Okay, so this is the video projector for the Cloco Wee, uh, from Cloco Wee video projector, all right? And if we take off the lens cap here, we can see the lens inside. So this is the lens inside here. And this here is the sharpness and the focus, all right? Uh, when you project it on the wall or when you project it, wherever you project it, you want to adjust the adjustments to make sure it's focusing and it's dialed in to the right sharpness that you desire. When we look on top of the unit here, we see the power to turn it on. We see an OK, we see an S, then we see um, re re rewind, fast forward, and then undo. So we have all these units that we can control it right here on the unit itself, the projector itself. As we can look on the side of the unit, we can see the DC adapter, also HDMI, uh, ports, then we can see the USB port as well as the headphone and the AV port right here. Now there's a fan outlet here as well as there is an inlet right here. There's also a speaker attached to it, built in the system itself for you to hear sound from it. So sound comes from this unit if you don't have a surround sound system that you could plug into the headphones or the AV um, port here. Okay, so this is a quick overview of this unit. I know you guys want to take a look and see the quality of the picture that this Cloco Wii video LED projector produces. And we're going to jump right into it right now. So, one more thing. I don't want to forget. There's a little... There's a little knob, oh, this, this part here, this is like a little foot that comes with it. All you have to do is screw it in here, right here, all right? And you can adjust the height of the projector just by using the screw and turning it up and down to whatever desired height you want this projector to, um, to be. So, 
let's jump right into the video. Let's see what type of quality this video projector produces. This okay, so I'm setting up the projector right here. And um, I'm going to plug it in, plug up everything. And uh, I'm using, I have the HDMI cord right here with me. I'm going to unravel it. And then I'm going to plug everything in. All right, we have, I'm going to be using my own USB um, DVD player. My own DVD player, okay? So, that I purchased from Walmart. So, links for these, th these two units is going to be in the description. Okay, so, let me get my power cord. Okay, so guys, this is the remote here. And it works with the AAA batteries. The AAA batteries here. So one, two. Now they don't send you any battery, so you're gonna have to purchase your own, okay? Or you can take it out of something else. And then you close it up, right? Wait, sorry, wrong cover. <laughs> Using the wrong cover. Okay, so you're gonna close it up like this, right here. All right, and it looks something like a Roku remote control. All right, so that's it. Let's light up the, well, we're going to have to plug it in and light up the projector. This is our adapter here. And we're going to remove the cord. Like so. so this is where you plug in the, the projector, okay? Right here. Plug it right in there. The HDMI will go right here. Plug that in here. Like so... Okay, so both of them are plugged in. All right, and then we're gonna face it to the wall. And then we're gonna plug in the other end of the HDMI right here, this unit, which is the DVD player. Okay, so that's where that goes. Now, let's turn everything, power everything on, and let's see our display and the kind of quality that we're looking at. Okay, this is a projector with the lights in my office on. I'm gonna turn off the lights and we'll take a look at what we can see on this projector. Now that's the sharpest it is right now. Okay, so this is the sharpest that we can get with the lights on. Okay, so let me turn off the lights. that is the projector with the lights off all right so take a look projector with the lights off it's pretty clear to me what do you think guys what do you think what do you think all right so so with the light off the quality the led quality is not that bad all right so as you can see here this is the quality this is the screen here and uh, Yeah, that, the quality is not that bad. Now I have the remote in my hand and you could scroll through, that's the movies, then you have music, then you have text, photos, and you have all these other options here on the side. Helps, AV, HD, and the setup, and also you can use a USB as well. If you wanna play a movie, I'm sure that USB up there is gonna come on. But right now we are using, as I mentioned, a DVD player. So let's go to the HD. All right, so let's see the movie that's played. Okay. And let's turn up some of the volume. Let's see how the volume sounds. Okay, the volume is not that powerful. But as we can see, the movie is pretty clear. All right. So that's all the volume there on the unit. Now I could also turn up the volume to the DVD player. However, I don't have the control for that right now. But we're looking at the quality of the picture. Let me know, guys, what you think about the picture quality here. I think it's pretty good. I would watch a movie on this. 
the quality is actually not that bad at all. Judging from my camera point of view. However, you may have to hook this up to a surround system. Okay? So, I'm going to stop it right here. So let's dig into this a little bit more. Well, we have a standard picture board here. Um, I can go back out, show you guys. So back to the main menu. Hold on. Back to back home. Okay, so that's home. All right, let's look at what we have here. You have the pictures. Then let's go up here. Let's see the setup. You can go to the picture mode standard. Also, you can go to the color temperature. Minimum, the aspect ratio, also the projector mode, and the zoom quality. Okay. Back out. Um, you can also go to the help menu. And solutions for networking problems, solutions for screen monitoring problems, contact customer service. All right. So they also have customer service as well with the unit. And uh, let's see. Okay, um, I, I mean to say your AV, if you want an external sound system hooked up. I, You know, if you're watching in your bedroom by yourself, I don't think you want a big heavy sound system. But um, if you want to, you could put a nice sound system, surround sound in your bedroom or wherever the case may be. And you guys could watch it. You know, I think it's really cool. The, the unit itself is pretty quiet. Okay, so it's not that loud. And I think for, for the price, the quality is pretty good. Okay, so... Okay, guys, so now that you have seen the quality that this projector produces, let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, what I think about this little projector, I think it's great for somebody that has a room, a gaming room, and they just want a, a bigger screen and they want to produce a bigger image on the wall, you can use this unit. If you want to go outside and have a movie night, you can use this unit for this movie night. You can take it outside, plug it into your outlet and reflect the image off of the wall. Or if you have a little kid, a small kid, a girl or boy, and they, they want to use their phones to connect to it and shine images off of the wall in their room. If you don't want to buy a television, this unit would be perf perfect for movie nights. You know, you buy a DVD, you plug into your DVD uh, in your DVD player and connect it to this, this unit will work very well, you know, projecting that image off of the wall or off of whatever you have, off of a cloth or, you know, whatever you have. So this unit will be good in many different instances. Plus it's very lightweight and it's very handy and you could lift it up and take it anywhere, you know, take it in your bag to, let's say you go camping somewhere and you want to project a movie inside of your tent. Isn't that amazing? You could use a unit like this. Okay, however, it doesn't come with batteries, okay, but you're going to have to get, you know, an AC, DC adapter and probably hook it up to your vehicle and um, plug it in and you can watch a movie inside of your tent. So, with this unit, you can do so many instances with it, very lightweight, very easy to carry around, very good for a kid, very good for um, anybody that, that wants to just show a movie with ease, all right, it's very easy to use. Okay, so thank you for joining me here in King's Tech Review. If you want to pick up this product, don't forget to click the link below in the description and you can go and check it out on Amazon. All right, now this unit retails for about $50. Very inexpensive and very cool little item that you can use. So I want to thank you for joining me here on the next review on King's Tech Review. I want to talk to you soon and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.